Hey everyone, it's Nicole uh, from Crafty Craft Corner. I just wanted to jump online and show you guys a quick tutorial of uh, what I'm making. I'm actually storing my resin right now and we are going to be making a soap dish holder. So you can unscrew it, the cap, and um, it's got the you know the ridges in here to screw here's the cap so what you do is you just take this off the lid and you can fill it with your favorite soaps um you can use hand sanitizer um if you want you can put the the foam in there and you can make a foam maker when you push down and it comes in the foam you can do a lot of things with this so i chose gold as my color and what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to use a matching gold dye so I got almost the same color at least I tried to um, so it'll go together I think it'll be close enough um, I also have silver ones so if you're not interested in the gold um, I actually have the silver ones and I have gray a gray ink which I would be using um, this one right here. It's like a silver, so the silver would go with this one. So I'm really not quite sure now that I look at both of them which one I want to do. Um, I think I'm going to do the gold today. And then if you, somebody wants uh, one made in silver, just let me know. And I can make you a soap container with silver. Um, instead of the gold. So there's silver and here is the gold. So just let me know which one you want and I can make it for you. Today I'm going to go ahead and make the gold one right away. So it is for sale. I'm selling it for $20. Um, probably do free shipping on it, I think. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I'm uh, not quite sure how much the shipping is going to be because I got to see how heavy it is and we'll see what the price is and then we'll go from there. Um, but I wanted you to watch me make it and just run it by y'all. So I'm going to angle you down now. And here we go. So, get this in here all the way. in the middle. Let's put the silver back because I'm not using the silver today. I also have a sand gold which is more like a silvery gold. This is actually really pretty. But I would probably use a silver hand for it. Silver handle. Okay, let's get back to what I was doing. So, let's take this out. Let's break this up a little bit more so I can get to my three minute mark. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the dye in, and I'll show you how this works. And then we'll have to come back and unveil it and take it out of the container um, either later tonight or later tonight or tomorrow morning. Uh, one of the two. We'll see how hard and how fast this cures and how fast it hardens up. It's a different kind of resin. I'm not using my regular Dr. Crafty Craft. Or Dr. Crafty. I'm using this one right here and it's called MTVJZJ. So um, it says easy to screen, scratch, and water resistant. Um, we'll see. We'll see how I like this. I just did some keychain letters in them and I'm pretty satisfied with how they are. Um, I like to keep bubbles to a minimum. Um, I think the better the resin you buy, is the better product that you're going to end up with. So what I'm going to do to get rid of any bubbles right away, I'm just going to run my heat gun through here, make it a little more smoother. There we go. Not long at all because my heat gun's very hot. Okay, so we'll do this now, and let's take our dye. Make sure you guys can see there. Um, sometimes the dye sticks on the bottom, so you want to give it a really, really good shake 
just so you can get all of that color into your into your wood blend. Um, I don't want to see any on the bottom in this at all. So I still see a little bit. I'm almost done shaking. Okay, sorry you guys, but I gotta have that gold off the bottom. Alright. Okay, we're good to go. Alright, so now I have not used this, so I have to use my scissors and open this up. Okay, now let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll see how that works. You can always add more, but you can never take away. I'm definitely going to need more. It is a translucent dye. Um, I don't have a gold opaque. So this is actually going to be really pretty. I'm just going to give it a couple squirts, actually. There we go. This should work. Wow, isn't that pretty, y'all? That's like a really, really nice gold. I really actually like this quite a bit. And it almost matches this, which is good. Because that's what I was going for. So just mix and mix and mix. I'm going to mix this until it's all incorporated and then get right back to you. Okay, back. So I've mixed it up and we're going to go ahead and pour it in. Oh, it looks really pretty. So that's exactly that. So what I'm going to have to do is make a little bit extra and fill the cap. So hold on. So I wanted to show you guys something really quick. It's really bubbling. So uh, that's one thing I learned about this resin is that the bubbles um, come right to the top. I can tell when I stir this resin that I do see bubbles in it. Um, fortunately, they do all rise. Um, I haven't had anything not rise on me. All the bubbles usually do come up, but I have to sit here and wait for all the bubbles to come up. So I doubt that I'm going to be buying this resin again just because I have to sit here and keep doing this. So it's a little annoying. Um, let me keep mixing this. Okay, so I'm just finishing up mixing a little bit more because I do need some for the cover. So we're going to go ahead and pour this into the cover. Alright, so that's done. So, now, I'm going to come in and take out my heat zone. Not that high of a glow though. Okay. Temperature out. Just to get through this some of these bubbles. This one. Alright, so tomorrow what we'll do, I'm going to get the silver one out of here. Tomorrow, or later tonight, I will pull this out of the mold as soon as it hardens, and I will show you the wonderful soap dispenser that we've made together. See you guys in a bit. Okay, everyone, good morning. So, this has set overnight. It is our soap dispenser that we've been working on. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get the mold out. Usually on this mold, I have my fiance do it because it's 
kind of hard to get out, but I think I might be able to do it if I have the arm strength. We'll see. <laughs> it's hard to do. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, I had to have my fiance do it, of course. <laughs> Alright, let me see if I can get the mold back into its regular shape. Here we go. Hopped right back. Okay, so now here we have the top. So we're going to take this out. This is the top. So all we have to do is take some UV resin and secure it on the top. So let me get this out. Okay, so I've got some UV resin right here. That is going to seal our cap. So cute, too. I like Alright, we're going to put one stick out. Shake up the UV resin. All right, now cover this back up right away. So what we shall do is paint the outside rim with it. This cap on. All right, I'll be right back. I'm gonna UV light this, and I will show you the results. Okay, so I have my UV light right here, actually. I never looked into the UV light. I learned it the hard way. I burnt my eyes, and I couldn't see for like 24 hours. I had to have special drops. So, we're just going to cure that right on top. Make sure it seals okay. Okay, I just wanted to make sure it was centered. Now it is. Okay. Oh, I have a blacky Jojo hair in there. I have a cat. And his hair gets everywhere. 
is a short hair cat, but for some reason his hair still gets everywhere. Put my UV back. Oh, So I'm going to put you in pause. Okay, everyone. It looks like it should be done. Put my turn my UV resin off. Put it back. Okay. So, now, we have our wonderful soap dispenser in gold with a nice gold pump. So, all you have to do is put the pump on and screw it on. you have a pump dispenser, a soap dispenser. So like I said, you can use it for hand sanitizer, you can use it for hand soap, you can use it for um, the soap that turns into foam when you push on the pump and foam comes out. So you can use it for many different things and I'm going to be putting this on the market for $20. Um, I will be on Facebook Marketplace, or you can send me an email at craftycraftcorner at gmail.com. I will put the link on the bottom of the page here so you can see. And everyone, I want to have a great day, and I will see you on my next project. Thanks, you everyone. Have a great day. Bye.